Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I'll do unboxing of the new uh, electric bicycle Rave Bullet XF. X stands for the larger size of the model they have. F stands for the faster. So this model comes with uh, two options, single battery or dual battery. If you order single battery, it will come with single battery inside. If you order dual batteries, for now, I think they're, they're gonna send separate. You're gonna get this box separate. They will inside you'll find the battery and mounting right underneath. You'll come with a key, splitter, screws, and also some stickers to attach on the battery. And then you have to do it by yourself. It shouldn't be that hard. I'll try to show you as well in this video. If not, I'll make separate video for that. But I think it's just for beginning. Later on, most likely they're gonna start to send them already attached to the bike. I'm not 100% sure. But again, I'm gonna make later video follow up and tell you how it's gonna go. But today we're gonna do unboxing, assembly, go for the speed test, hill test to see if this bike can still go to the hill. I tested all the bicycle before and to see what the top speed will go. So let's assemble it and go for a ride. And that's how it's gonna look from the top. Looks like everything good. The damage actually didn't go through much, so it should be everything fine. Inside there's a box. Let's open up to see what is inside. So we're gonna get pedals here. Some stickers for the bike, the tool, actually a wrench and uh, class 2 and class 3 I guess, and the charger. And the charger is, the charger is 2M charger, so you get one charger per box, and the battery also came without charger. And that's how bike will look from the side. Looks like you just need to attach the uh, wheel, handlebar, pedals, and the bike is ready to ride. And of course the battery, if you bought the second battery. So the first step I removed all the packages and then next step I will remove this bracket. It's a four bolts over here. So you would just remove this four bolts in order to attach the handlebar. So once you remove this uh, bracket and the four bolts, you bring the handlebar up like this and reattach it with the same bracket and with the same bolts. First I'll do with my hands and then I'll use Allen key to tighten them up. The next step to attach the wheel, uh, before you start to attach you need to remove the washer and one uh, nut from one side. Another one will be located together with the manual and the washer. So you, what you do first, you will loosen up this fork protector, lift it up, you don't need this anymore, and insert it. Align the brakes and drop it like this. Next, you would attach the washer first and the nut. You do it with the hands and then use a wrench to tighten them up. And you do the same thing on the other side. And the next step will be attaching the pedals. All right, going to the right side, left going to the left side. So you just attach it. And you do exactly the same thing on another side. The bicycle is uh, basically assembled, but if you have a second battery, so the second battery will mounting will attach right over here. So in order to remove this plastic cover for controller, in order to connect the battery or replace the controller on the any bullet model, there is a screw you would need to remove. Uh, there is four screw. I'll show you which one. So the screw is like small like this. You would need a Phillips screwdriver. So there's four of them. 
and they're located right over here on top, one over here, one over here, one over here, supposed to be, and one over here. I already removed them, but the cover still will not go anywhere, it's because there is a trick. You would need to use this uh, Allen key, uh, and there's a hole right on the side, from the same side where is a, a cutting sensor, or on opposite side of this uh, chainery. So you would just insert it over here, okay, and you would need to push it a little bit, like this, okay, and once you push it, it now can be removed, easy. Okay, so now I remove it, since I'm gonna attach this uh, second battery on the uh, uh, XF model, uh, the battery will go right over here, the mounting, so you need to remove the mounting from the battery it came, so you would need to twist it uh, to open, and then just pull it out, so this is the mounting you're gonna attach, it also comes with these three uh, bolts and allen key, so you would need to attach right over here, you just place this way, uh, so this one is looking down I guess, and you would attach this with uh, four, with the three bolts, right over here, and that's how it will look, so it's pretty tight now, uh, make sure you don't over tighten them as well, because it might break, the next step would be to connect, not this cable, but to get the splitter, and unplug this cable uh, from a Pre from the other battery, from the controller which is, so you basically just unplug it, so you would uh, unplug the one which comes to controller first, okay, and then you would get this splitter, okay, and connect it, basically just, and it cannot go wrong because it will not fit if it's wrong, so you just push it, okay, and now it does not really matter which one you can connect to the existing one, right over here, okay, and you would connect probably from the top to this one. Okay, and then you put everything back and close up and tighten up all the bolts and I'll show you how it looks after. So the mounting is attached, the cable going right over here, attaching with a zip tie right here, another zip tie right over there, going inside. It's a little bit challenging to get through this hole over here, it's going through the hole inside and right inside the box. So I would recommend to remove the box completely the plastic in order to pull out the um, like adapter and reattach. As you can see the color sparkling, it's a really beautiful black color. It's called metallic black. Very beautiful. And that's how the bullet XF will look once you assemble, assemble is pretty simple, the only thing was taking more time for me to attach in the second battery, because I decided to go through the tube wiring, so there's no wire visible, and it's not hard, but it takes some time, hopefully next uh, batch, or next time they're gonna ship out, they're gonna be having them already attached, so it will reduce time for you guys to assemble it, but I want to show you the size difference between XF model and this one is Bullet V2 model, which is a little bit smaller, as you can see. And I'm not, not, I'm not going to make this compare video. I'll just show you a little bit the difference so you can see a sitting position. And this bike feels really larger, and you can probably will see it on the camera as well. And I'm 5'11". This seat not only taller, like the the frame is a little bit taller, but there's many different upgrades versus to V2 model. The tires, as you can see, a little bit different, more premium, but 
Also, the F stands for the fast. So this bike is faster than Bullet V2 model. And we're gonna go over this while I'm running and do the speed test and heel test to see actually the numbers. So it's very comfortable to see it regardless which model you pick. So I'm gonna go about the sizes difference. So this um, XF model or X model, they are X and XF, it's the same size. So the lowest part from the ground would be like 32 inches. The highest part is like 34 inches. This bullet V2 model, it's 29 inches and I believe it's 31 or 32, the highest point. The tires, it's a 20 by 4, but I'm going to get closer so you can see the difference as well. Uh, both bicycles very comfortable to ride. For me, I'm 5'11". If you are taller, highly recommend to go with X model. If you want faster, most likely you would need to pick the XF model. And we're going to go about the speed later, as I said earlier. So let's get closer so you can see the difference. Again, I will make compare videos separately. So you can compare, like I will compare basically so you can see the difference between uh, XF or X model to Bullet V2 model. So the, again, th today we're going to concentrate mostly on the new model, which is XF. XF, it uh, stands for larger and higher speed, fast. So I'll go straight to the tires. As you can see, the tires are a little bit different. This one is by uh, V company. Okay, V tires. And they look amazing. More premium tires versus to V2 model. Also tires um, are real nice from Bullet. It's three tires, like more racing, as you can see. Very similar, like purpose for them. A little bit looks in smaller, thinner, but they are also 20 by 4 and they are by Kendra. So also very good quality tires. Have no issue and braking very good, grabbing the road very well. Both of the bicycle comes as hardtail. So let's talk about this bike. It comes with single speed, single gears, okay, with a larger crank set on the front. And V2 models come with the same single gears as well. So there's no difference. It comes with a 160 millimeter hydraulic brakes from Rave. Both of them have exactly the same brake system on both of the bicycles, so there will be no difference. Same upgraded fork on V2 and the XF model. Also the same with about 80 millimeter travel. Same headlight, same handlebar, same display. It's actually a pretty bright display. And you can see on the light, straight head, like sunlight. It does come with a horn. I don't remember if this one comes. Yeah, this one is exactly the same, actually come with a horn. And it's basically the same, but you will see a difference in seat. Uh, I believe it's about three to four inches wi longer, wider, but you can see the seat is huge. Very comfortable seats. I think they have, Rave Bicycle have one of the best seats on the market. Straight out of the box, you enjoy the seat versus to some need to be replaced or upgraded. The major difference also comes not only the speed, but options to have dual battery order. So this bicycle comes with single options or dual. I have dual batteries and the batteries can be charged on the bike or off the bike. Charging port right here, USB port right over here as well. So you can charge uh, any device through USB. And this one is on and off button. Uh, removing the batteries, they come with a key, two separate keys. You can check also the status on the bike. So it's exactly the same batteries, but they just attach separately and they are both used at the same time. Or you can use one at a time if you turn off one. So I'm going to use today both of them at the time while the bullet models come with the same battery, but only single. There's no options to attach because the frame does not have the support underneath. I'm pretty sure you might be able to create something to attach, but they will be very complicated. And if you want dual battery, and if the size is good for you, XF model is great to go with. Again, hardtail, both of them. But if you're riding in the city, 
you should have no problem at all. Both bicycle come with tail light, brake light, exactly the same. So again, there will be no difference at all. And both of them looking amazing. And so far, you can see the difference. But we're gonna go for a ride and see the speed difference in climbing V tires speedster most popular actually brand right now for immigrant style looking really nice I'm not sure how they're gonna grab the road actually we're gonna test it out as well but you can see the difference right here and again let's go for a ride test them out I think the top speed I was getting about 28 and a half on long road the hill climbing was uh, v, like V2 model was great I believe 7 or 8 miles an hour the one we're gonna try today so we're gonna ride only today the new XF model but later on if you subscribe to my channel I will make separate video just to compare both of them in more details once I test it out XF and tell you what the major difference versus to V2 model right now you can see it's size tires battery and motor much larger and more powerful and the speed should be as well so let's go for a ride all right so let's go and see how the bicycle perform not only pedaling but also how fast it can go i'm gonna i already unlock it the speed on this bike so it should go up to the top speed now with my weight 215 pounds maybe a little bit more since i have equipment on me but i always compare like on me somewhere 215 so first i'm gonna park over here and then we're gonna go basically zero to 20 and we'll see and then uh, the top speed on the short period of uh truck and then i'll take it for longer uh road see what the top speed on the longer road as well so let's go uh, and uh, i already unlocked the speed so it's uh, accelerated pretty good so it was 20 and now it's 24 on gps 25 26 27 28 Uh, 29 on GPS and 30 and half on display so it's 29 30 so it was 30 wow the tires really like cool they again I left the mark I don't want to ruin the tires but the brakes are really good uh, the brakes only 160 millimeter but they do have nice stopping power and now I'm gonna put on um, well there's only one gear i'm on the pedal assist level three and let's go actually you need to hold the handlebar pretty good because it's good acceleration and about 24 you're gonna get ghost pedaling 27 26 27 now so 27 on gps I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna go pedalist level one so 27 on uh, pedaling so the pedaling is not as fast I didn't want to spin so hard you would get ghost pedaling somewhere after 24 in order to get better you need to put larger uh, ch chain ring on the front but this bicycle not only for fa uh, like for pedaling much that's why they have only one gear mostly this one it comes with uh, only uh, one gear but pedaling is good at uh, speed number 12 miles an hour with pedal assist level one pedal two is uh, kind of accelerate to 16 and pedal assist three as you could see before really good i'm gonna just drop it so you could see actually really up to 27 miles on gps and uh, let's see how the brakes actually works i'm gonna get to 
I'll stop by the white car. So I'm getting about 17, or oh, okay, six, 26 miles now. Wow, it it is stops really good. I would say as good for as any hydraulic brakes. The top peak power was over 1700, so it does have a lot of peak power. And let's just turn off the bike completely on zero and see how the pedaling. So if you run out of the power, you can still pedal the bike on the flat surface. Actually, there's not much resistance. Hmm. You can pedal easy nine miles an hour. That's interesting. Actually, I expect harder to pedal. You do have a little bit need to push the pedal a little bit harder, but I'm going about 10 miles an hour. Actually, it's pretty good for pedaling with no power and it's very good for e moped style pedaling and um, many people asking how the pedaling on v2 on gtx i would say this one is better for taller person for sure who is like 510 and 59 and higher is this is a perfect bike gonna be and also faster but if you're shorter than 56 uh, definitely you want bullet v2 or gtx oh no they have gt v2 model which is also fast but let's turn on the power but it's a smaller frame and so now i'm gonna ride to the hill and we're gonna test it out as well to see uh, how fast it will go on the longer road and also uphill test so let's just go on the road over here it's a longer road usually it can go much faster because uh, more time to accelerate it, it does accelerate pretty quick and up to 30 miles which is good so 28 on gps 29 30 31 on display 31 and a half on display so if i probably will need to adjust the diameter of the wheel thirty one i saw on uh, gps and i'm more pay attention to the road because if somebody opens the door or whatever or oh, thirty one so it's a uh, fluctuate so i would say it's thirty one and a half probably on GPS but on display 31 and half 31 and 0.4 31 right now so very close to 31 miles an hour but it's not only about the speed also how good it will climb the hill as well but very stable on the road the tires are pretty good Yeah, it's very stable on the road. That's a really good. The tires, kind of, I cannot really hear much because I'm wearing the Demon Hamlet. It's uh, hard to hear actually much, but so far I didn't hear any extra noise from the motor. The tires actually much quieter because it's um, uh, nice street tires, like more racing tires, I would say. And also, um, I put about 20 psi on both. So it's at highest PSI uh, listed on the tires, but it's still very soft ride. Very nice fork. I already tested the other bike, so it's the same fork. 29 miles an hour, easy acceleration to 29, 30. And you can pedal it, but you're gonna get ghost pedaling after at 24 miles. So comfortable pedaling will be about 20 to 23 miles an hour, but not no faster than 24. Otherwise, you have to work out spinning very well. Now I'm close to the hill, and we're gonna test it out to see if this bike can climb actually all the models the older models with 500 watt motor the bullet original the first one 
could climb the hill amazing uh, all of them but the very speed so depend on the speed i think the v2 model climb about several miles and now gt model about eight and gtx was like eight eight and a half miles i would say so this is one of the steepest hill so far the bullet performed one of the best in moped style in this category for climbing this hill with uh, this one is 48 volt system so this one is not 52 as gtx so this one not the same as gt 52 model so this 48 system which uh, pretty good so far uh, so i'm stop over here and let's go so to see how good it will climb and uh, so far 40 miles based on gps 17 and we'll see if it can climb the hill it's not necessary will climb but we'll see 12 11 so um, start to reduce the speed which is normal the motor actually working pretty good so now 9 to 10 so gtx made about eight and a half all the way up and i'm getting about 1500 peak power when i was riding on the flat i saw like 17 36 and it's going about nine eight miles an hour right now nine miles an hour wow wow this bike performed uphill so i made it exactly the same as gtx so again something to consider it's made exactly the same speed uphill as gtx eight and a half about eight and it was jumping between eight to nine so i would say about eight and a half so exactly the same as gtx model uh, so if you're looking for bike which will be as good as gtx but you don't want to spend that much money because you don't need extra rear suspension this one comes with hard tail you and but you need the range this bike comes with a dual battery and since you're gonna have less uh voltage it will save more power so basically you're gonna get exactly the same range most likely like a gtx 28 amp battery i'm not 100 percent sure because i didn't test it but usually this battery lasts about 17 miles 60 15 miles i would say at least on full throttle so you would get about 30 miles on average from this bike on throttle only and let's go for more right and i'll talk to you about difference what i noticed on this bike so far so it comes with full throttle and the brakes were really good on this bike the bikes all the rave bicycle very good balance so it means you will not get wheelie for accidentally by pushing too hard on the throttle so it's not like some bicycle you're gonna buy like uh, which will put you in position where you're gonna get wheelie and fall so it's more stable on the road very stable on the road this bike uh, i think all of them very stable on the road um, nice position you can adjust the handlebar close to you and i noticed on this bike in particular the throttle can go up to the top speed on uh, pedal assist level one two or three and i noticed pedal assist level one going by more about power so it's not about like uh, it's not going to be about uh, basically how you turn the pedals because usually the cousin sensor will trigger faster based on the how fast you're pedaling and turning the signal so basically it, um, it does come with cousin sensors as all of the bicycle but uh notice gtx and this uh, model and v2 model also they come measurement the pedal assist based on the watt so basically it will produce less watt peak power when you're gonna be in pedal assist level one that's why the speed will be less so it will produce less power but if you light a person your speed might go as fast as on pedal assist level three versus to somebody who is heavy so that's why pedal assist level one and three would have uh you can pedal it and based on your weight that's gonna be effect on the speed level one two or three if you're gonna ride in pedal assist level one it will consume more 
energy because uh, it will produce less power so basically they control the speed based on the power will go to the motor versus some bicycle will cut off the speed after you reach let's say 10 miles an hour but in this bicycle the speed will not cut off so basically you're gonna ride it uh, on pedal assist level one which can also reach top speed based on your weight because uh, it will go based on the uh, how much weight to weight so but they will produce less power this way um, they control the speed so it's not produce it will not cut off the speed at pillar system one after certain miles it's only give you less power again uh, that's uh, actually helps with uh, uh, get better range on pedal assist level one this way if you're gonna ride on pedal assist level one on uh, long road or down the hill you still can get top speed if you like the person without spending too much power on the bike and uh, so far the bike performed really nice the top speed was as you could see 20 uh, 31 miles an hour on throttle only on the longer road on the shorter was 30 uh, and again it's very similar to gtx it's gtx actually faster on the longer road the gtx can go up to 35 miles on longer road so you get a little bit four miles extra with gtx versus to this xf model but with xf you're gonna save about four to five hundred dollars and it will be hardtail but again uh, it's a very nice comfortable seat the fork also will be different but it comes with hydraulic fork which works as good as gtx it's just different design so i just did change 22 wheel diameter it's pretty simple you just push plus and minus hold it for a few seconds then you'll see a change in the display some codes and you push power and minus at the same time and now it's 22 inch diameter let's go and see if the speed will increase based on gps and also i already rode about nine miles on this bike but let's go and see also what peak power so far it's 12 15 16 18 20. so i'm going with gps it's more accurate numbers right now 24 26 27 on gps on display 27 28 and the peak power is pretty good 30 so now the gps show 30 at the same so it's not gonna change the speed but you'll see most accurate numbers it will be a little bit less actually than gps it will be 29 and a half about so very solid 30 miles an hour even riding nine miles so far on this bike i think it will keep up 30 miles an hour but the top speed so far i reach was 31 on throttle only with pedaling only 27 and it's produced pretty good peak power so it produced a lot of power so this bike 16 40 right now this bike is 1000 watt motor uh, i know they put um, less if you look on the motor it only says 750 i oh, know yeah 750 48 volt but it is 1000 watt with peak power 17 36 that's the maximum i was reaching really nice bike the difference between this bike versus to uh, gtx model gtx will come with full suspension uh, so you got nice rear shock suspension also you got a crown fork which has the same actually performance but looking differently your headlights will turn together with your fork which is great at night riding uh, the size will be exactly the same with uh, gtx if you reduce some error in your shock the seat may low down a little bit versus to this one it's fixed 
uh, the lowest part is like 20, 32 and the highest 34 so you cannot really adjust it uh, this bike is perfect for the city ride for off-road i highly recommend to check gtx this bike has as much power as gtx and also performance it's really great on this bike basically exactly as gtx the speed you would get four miles more on gtx on longer road on the shorter road only gonna be about the same very similar mileage speed on the shorter road so acceleration very similar uphill test as you can see would be exactly the same as gtx so i don't really see much different in two bikes the gtx actually produced more peak power up to 1900 i believe but this bike uh less cost less so you may consider so this bike about four to five hundred dollars less which give you something to consider thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye